Okay, so yeah, selection is a right mouse button, and then a left click drag is actually, again, Drew, to start creating new planar sections. Okay, so we have an existing planar section. Maybe we want to actually, uh, well, you'll see the underlying curve is actually a, a cubic Bezier curve representation. These x's are the uh, position control points, and the squares are the tangent control points. And uh, basically, if you right click and drag, you can move these points around. And if you right-click, drag on the tangents, you'll move them, and they'll, they'll they're parallel across the position control point. Now, if you want to impose a tangential discontinuity, in other words, like a corner, hold the control key down on the keyboard, and then do a right-click, drag, and you'll see these two tangents coming off this control point can be uh, manipulated independently. Okay. Um, if you want to delete uh, a control point, you can do that using the backspace key. So sort of mouse over the control point you want to delete, hit backspace. And if you want to insert control points, so if I want to insert control points intermediate to this segment, go to one of the tangents intermediate to the segment and hit the insert key. And that'll actually subdivide it. So we've actually created that. So that's useful if you want to, you know, add, say I want to add details, some sort of concavity or something in here, I can do that by doing that. Okay, so that's a backspace to remove and insert to add them. Um, now, uh, as of today, anyway, the system now supports full undo and redo operations, and it will actually record your entire editing history. And so you can get to that through edit, undo, and you just hit control Z, it's the shortcut. So it'll actually undo everything I've done. And if you want to redo those operations, it actually does that too. So you do shift control Z, that might be platform dependent, you might have to check, it might be control Y or something, but it should be shift control Z. Uh, yeah, so undo and redo, pretty much what you'd expect. Okay, so since you're going to be actually modeling uh, some shapes, it's importantly you probably want to save those, load those, you know, save your progress. Importantly, maybe send them to me. Uh, so, uh, in addition to new plane sketch, the other two important ones here are the open plane sketch and save plane sketch. So to open plane sketch, these sketch files are saved in .txt format. So to go back to that dinosaur uh, example. You just load it like that, easy enough. Uh, and then if to save it out, same idea, save plain sketch, type of file name, save. Pretty, pretty straightforward.